Okay, now we have to get Z wheels off. I believe they're 17s, I think. All right, first off, where did I put there? Just, I'm gonna mask off my valve stem. Yeah, these are not the best wheels you guys can see. I've, so far, before I even scuffed any of these, I degreased all of them and scrubbed them very thoroughly. I degreased them like twice, pretty much each. And then before I scuff them, I actually used that pre-cleaner right over there you guys see on the bench. I'm gonna use that clean them off one final time, scuff them, wheel them over there, and then clean them all off one more time before paint. Because when you're painting, number one thing, you want this thing as clean as humanly possible. We're gonna give it a quick little pre-soak here. This is the pre-scuffing pre-soak. It does evaporate relatively quickly, so you don't wanna let it sit on here. I'd say for over at over 30 seconds without touching it. All right, clean. I did used to actually sand them in different grits, but it really isn't worth it, guys. Like it is, it's so much easier, so much quicker. Just use a Scotch Brite. Make sure you scuff it thoroughly, but use a red Scotch Brite. Obviously, different colors mean different grits, but use a red Scotch Brite. Scuff the wheel as thoroughly as possible. I like to start on the flats, the surface that is towards you first, because that's the first thing you see, right? So you want that as thorough as possible. So, I'm just gonna come in here and scuff these front surfaces. This wheel is scuffed. We'll wheel this guy over with the rest of these two. All right. He's ready like these guys are. You gotta do one more. Here's that one I was talking to you guys about. You can see just how messed up, like it didn't stick here, here, here. Here. It won't fix the problem, but it'll make it look 10 times better. I'm gonna get that one wheeled over, we'll scuff it, and then I'll pick you guys back up once we're done with that. All right guys, since then the wheels have been scuffed. They are all scuffed, pre-cleaned, and this is the method that I have been using for quite a few years here on actually painting wheels. If you don't wanna have to pop the tire off of the wheel and also most definitely have to mask off the lip and make sure no paint no paint gets in between the wheel and the tire that little void that little gap in here the pain in the ass that it is to have to mask this off right just get playing cards just use playing cards lay them in the lip of the wheel and it will be totally perfectly fine and boom these two are ready for paint. I only have enough playing cards to do two at a time. So we'll do these two, let them dry, do the second coat, let it dry, pop the playing cards out, and then do these wheels. So let's get spraying these things. Today's choice is the cheapest thing they had on the shelf. No, actually, it is the, like, they're, they're probably like mid-grade color. This is a Dupacolor semi-gloss wheel paint. We're just gonna use this. It don't, again, it don't gotta be nothing crazy. We're just trying to make them look just a little bit better.
good enough for the first coat. I laid it on a little bit heavier than I'd like to. It's just hard to get in all those little nooks and crannies in there. That's the main thing. They're not bad. Again, they're, they're gonna look pretty similar to what it had, but the thing is now, is they're not gonna be scuffed and chipped and look like complete garbo. We're gonna bring the car down to workable level. And we're gonna work on getting these old brake pads and rotors off. If you guys also didn't see, here's the new lip on the car. If you guys didn't see the video, click up here. It's pretty decent, it's held on. It already has, I think it already has one battle scar. Right here, you can see it's rolled out a little bit. Yeah, she's all right. I actually recommend this spoiler for you guys. If you didn't watch that video, again, go click up there, but this spoiler, this little chin spoiler, actually it's molded properly to the bottom of the car for one. And two, it's, it's pretty damn rigid. Like it's moving the whole bumper. Like I said, let's get the car down to workable level here. And then we'll tear these things off of that while those are drying. Little unexpected turn of events. I was doing this side over here because the GoPro was pretty much dead. So I got this side all buttoned up with the brand new parking sensor in there and everything, yada, yada. That's all great and dandy, but I come to the back here. Don't mind that. I come to the back here and it's a style that you have to rotate down and compress. And I know that I have to communicate with the car using a scan tool to retract the rear parking brakes in order to, you know, actually shove in this piston so I can put the new pads in there. The big problem is that for some reason is having an error communicating with the car. So I can't even do the brakes in the back. Great, right? Well, until I figure out why the hell that is, is a trouble code I have to apparently research now. We're just gonna do this one. So the first thing we gotta do is there's two bolts back here. It's kind of hard to get the GoPro and everything in here at the same time. There's two main bolts we gotta take out. It's this guy right here. And then there's another one on the bottom, I believe. Nope. Oh boy. Wow. A little bit tighter than the other side used to be. Yeah, this is it's a little bit tight. This thing used to, could, could, could you, could you stop? Could you stop just for a second? All right, we'll crack the bottom one loose. Just do it by feel. There's that guy. And they do give me two new ones, so that's nice of them. The only thing is they don't give me one of these, this clip right here, which is extremely crucial to this entire braking system. All right. Those guys are out. Then we have to get the clip out. But the first thing is I need to pick up the thing I just threw on the ground in preparation to hang this caliper because you guys never want to just let your calipers hang. Uh, I got to remember how I did the other one. There we go. Keep your hand over these. These things go and they fly across the shop. And this does have different than most the uh, brakes that I've done in the past. It's a little bit different to where, and this thing's really stuck. It's a good thing we're replacing all of it. There we go. He's free. No, nah, I won't put that there. Ah. He said, oh fuck. He's out for the count. There's that. Probably just lay this on top actually. For now, stay. You gonna stay? And then we have two more, this guy right here, and then another one right here. They are, they are a 21, I believe. Yeah, 21. Caliper's probably gonna fall on my face. And these are tight guys, just little heads up. I was wearing gloves, but you know how that goes. There you go. Do that, put him down there. We're gonna have to clean him up. But we have to get the rotor off first. Mm -mm -mm. Someone was nice before, they put anti-seize on these. And then they come right out. You know how many times I've done brakes and these, these little Torx bits that hold the rotor to the hub 
just don't come off. This is a T, T30. What, they didn't anti-seize this one? Because they're all out, the Torx is out, no reason why it shouldn't come off now. There it is. Wipe this off, yeah, you can see this one, they had anti-seized over the other ones, but for some reason, not this one. So we're gonna fix that. So the next guy who does this, which will probably be me, unless I sell the car, you know, you, you never know. We're just gonna get her nice and clean. We're just gonna give her a nice little healthy dosage of anti-sneeze. I always give these a little bit of a break clean bath before and after they go on because sometimes they put like a little oil residue on these so that they don't rust during shipment if they're in like a very moist climate or whatever. Lined up, all lined up, sucker down. And these do not have to be tight. I always go until the rotor spins and just give it a little there, done. So we got two pads up here. This guy with a little dot on him, a little circle, no. And then the back one, which is a little goofed, this guy. He has this weird little contraption that holds him into the back side of the caliper. Oh, I get a Brembo sticker? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, okay. We got that guy with a little dot on him. All right. I don't know why this has double sided tape on it. I still haven't figured that out. These little slots go upwards because they have to go over these little nubs that stick out. Clips in. Just like that. And then this guy, again, same thing. Pull this little adhesive plate off. He's gonna go the same way, notch is facing the same way. He is laid in here. And then we just work him into this hole. All right. Swing him over. Lay him on. There you go. Now we just simply run our new, because it comes with new, the Brembo kit on ECS tuning. It comes with new, two new bolts. We can slide those on in. All right, everything's in the way, come on. Come on. All right. And then we take this guy, our clip that we have to reuse because it does not come with a new one. This sucks a little bit. Now, how did I do the other side? I must have been smarter if, like an hour ago. All right, he's on. Clean the side of the rag, of the dirty ass rag. And then there you go. Look at that, right? Come on. Didn't even need this hanger. I'm gonna go home and figure out why this thing can't communicate with the rears. And then do the rears and then put the nice freshly painted wheels on. Look at them, look at them. They're looking pretty damn good. These are looking uh, halfway decent. Again, these are still shit wheels. All right, that's, we have to take that into consideration still. So anyways, let me go home, do a little bit of research on why it can't communicate with this thing. Hopefully it's something dumb. And then we'll get the wheels back on the car and see how she looks. Sir, just enough room to get the arms out. All right guys, so as you can see, everything is put back together. The problem with the whole scan tool thing was that for some reason yesterday when I tried to go in through the like specialty functions or whatever, the actual name of that was called in the scan tool, it wasn't there. And then when I went today, it was there. It is, it's a Mac OS scan tool, so I, I don't know, maybe it updated or something, or it, there was a, 
some kind of communication issue, but it's good now. We retracted them, we put the rear pads and rotors on, and we put the wheels on that are freshly painted, and I also, I cleaned up the center caps a little bit just to make them look a little bit nicer. So, but I mean, the wheels came out, a, they, they do look a little bit better. Not like astronomically better, but would I say, I only use one can, so would I say $12 greater? Yes, I'd say they look $12 better. I'm satisfied with them. They're it's not the greatest, but you look at them and now they're not such an eyesore anymore. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content coming on over the channel. Since that chin spoiler we put on, now the rest of the car doesn't fit. Because you got the lip up front, there's nothing on the rockers, there's nothing for the rear bumper cover like a diffuser. Or, I'm not trying to go riced, all right? I know the video says otherwise, but I'm not trying to rice this thing out. I'm just trying to make it look good and low and slow because it's going to be slow for a while oh i gotta oh the wipers wipers donezo on this thing all right gotta replace that too and also before winter i bought a can of it i believe it's up front it's the fluid film i've talked to you guys in the past about i spray all my vehicles with that before winter every year i buy like two cans of it per car and i just go to freaking town and i just spray every possible thing we're gonna pull off the underbelly on this thing, like all those under trays and stuff. We're gonna spray it everywhere. Cause this is a California car. I do not want to, well, I'm already introducing it to the salt, but I wanna give it the best shot it's got at staying clean. So I'm gonna spray everywhere. I'm gonna take the plastics out from inside the quarters in here and spray inside the wheel lips from inside the quarter so that it can creep down into the lip. But anyways, guys, that's gonna conclude today's video. I'll see you guys all in the next one.